Sean Hayes here with Sean America Audio and Visual, here with our next lesson on pinhole photography. This is going to be a two-part lesson. This first part I'm going to show you how to do the build, and the second part I'm going to show you some neat software that goes along with it. So this comes from a question I get a lot of the time, and that is, how do you calculate your f-stop and exposure information if you don't know the diameter of your pinhole? This happens more often than you think, because if you decided to make your pinhole with, say, a needle instead of a set of precision drill bits, you're going to need to be able to measure that pinhole so you can calculate the exposure data. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to do that with nothing more than your scanner and a neat piece of software that's available at www.seanmerica.com. So let's go over to the computer and take a look at how that's... Okay, so here we are at the computer. All you're going to need for this is very simple things you should probably already have. You'll need your trusty scanner, a regular flashlight, a piece of foam or any material like construction paper or cardboard that you can use to block out the unused area of the scanner surface and of course your trusty pinhole. Okay, now to put this all together this is really easy. Take whatever you're going to use to block out your scanner surface and put a hole in the middle of it. I've already done that here. And take your flashlight and just insert that so that it can shine through the hole like so. Now, all you're going to need to do here is really easy. Go ahead, open up your scanner, take your pinhole that you want to measure, place it on the scanner bed, turn on the flashlight, and place the whole unit directly on top of the pinhole. Make sure you adjust that so the light shines right through the pinhole itself. The reason for that is that lets you get a really good look at the edge of the pinhole when you scan it. One thing you may want to do is if the light shining through the pinhole is too bright, what you can do is you can take a white piece of paper and place it on top of the pinhole and then place this unit on top of that. And it's just as simple as that. And then what we're going to do is in the second part of this lesson, I'm going to show you how your scan should look on the computer. Okay, great. So make sure you stick around for the second lesson here and see how this works on the computer.